The nerve to say that <laughs> you're not close-minded. Right. That's an awful thing to say to anybody. Yes. So I'm not happy. Yeah. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I don't. It, I've said this many times. You've heard me say this. Until the person's backstory, mm. you can't judge. So he doesn't even know your backstory. He doesn't know why you're making the decisions you're making, doing mm -hmm. what you're doing. He doesn't know. He doesn't know your financial situation. He doesn't know your debt-to-income ratio. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know the pressures that you're under because maybe mm -hmm. there's going to be a layoff at work or maybe you have some mm -hmm. kind of a medical condition or maybe mm -hmm. one of your children do or maybe your wife does. He doesn't yes. know. And right. to have the audacity to tell you that, to put you into a segment <laughs> of being closed-minded. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, ladies and gentlemen, that is total BS. Yeah. I'm not interested. If my people are doing that at the dealership, I don't like it. I'm not involved. I'm retired. And so I don't run it. I don't get involved. But if they're doing that and I find out about it, they're going to hear from Jim Shorty today. Yeah. Say, yeah. stop the bull. Stop yeah. it. Stop the nonsense. I like saying that. Stop the nonsense. That's nonsense. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that. And I literally, not knowing anything about what you were going to say today, mm -hmm. do I know what you're, did I know no. anything about this timeshare? No. Nothing. I have no notes. I have no script. I don't know. I'm yeah. responding to you in a genuine extemporaneous manner mm -hmm. and i'm just addressing what you said and it yeah. sounds to me like trickery what do you think yeah absolutely and i don't absolutely. want to do that i'm not interested